Hi, this is Paddy. Um, I'm going to go over another video on document templates today, um, mainly because the power users that I support have been asking a lot about them lately. Um, I'll start off by reviewing how to add fields from a May to one relationship, and then I'll do another video in the near future to cover uh, one to many relationships and how to repeat the related items in a table. So in this video, I'm going to add fields from a parent entity. A good example of this is the net one relationship between quote and primary customer. What we're going to do in this example is populate some fields on a quote template and it'll be these fields here. Um, so start off um, by looking at the relationship name. So the first thing I want to find out is what that relationship's called. And the best way to do that is to start from your form or the record that you want to um, make the template for. So let's go and we're going to start with a quote. So let's go to our quotes. Just pick a, an example quote. And it's this field here, this record here that we want to pull the, the data and those values from. Um, so in order to get the relationship name between this parent customer, which is an account, to this quote, we'll go to the form editor. And select the field. Now I want to look at the field that's behind the field on the form. So click details and then edit. And down the bottom here, this is a lookup field, so you'll get the, the names of the relationships. Our quote is uh, the customer as an account on that quote. Now just watch, you don't get caught out because it can either be, this customer lookup can either be an account or a contact. So if you quote to, if you, your primary entity on your quote is your accounts, use this relationship. If it's contacts, use the contacts relationship. Ours is accounts in this case, so we'll grab the name of that there. Now I just want to take a note of that for later. So we're not going to edit anything in here, so close that down. And then we can start creating our template. So start by creating a new template. It's going to be a word template. And it's going to be on the quote entity. It's going to be our primary entity. Click select entity to start a new template. So the relationship that um, we're using, the type of relationship we're using is a many to one relationship. That's because many quotes can be associated to one account. So the account is the parent and there's, it has many quotes underneath it. So we want to scroll down here and look for a relationship name. If you remember our relationship name was quote underscore customers underscore accounts. So let's find that. And that's the one there. So I want to select that and then click on download template and that should generate the template that we need with the XML mappings on it. So let's have a look at our developer tab and look at our XML mappings pane. You'll be familiar with this. Your XML mappings comes out URN for CRM. You've got all the fields and values that, that you can pull through from your parent entity, your quote, and down the bottom you've got your relationship, which we've added quote underscore customer accounts. And expanding that will give you all the fields that are on your accounts. So what I'll do, I'll um, first of all I'll copy over the content from my quote template. Now this is just a template that I downloaded from Word just for example's sake. 
So I'm just going to copy that over. Right, so it's these fields here that we're going to populate. Let's just zoom in a bit so we can see that better. So these are the customer fields. So name, let's just delete each of these placeholders off. So this is the name of the contact that we're going to be sending the quote to. Um, so it's under quote underscore customer accounts, that's a relationship. And let's look for the primary contact field. And there we go, primary contact ID name, that's the field that we want. Add it in the same way as you would add any field on the primary entity. Let's just take these out. So the next one's the name. Now for the address, I always use the composite address. Um, you can add the individual address line items, um, but just for examples, in this example, we'll just use the composite address, which is address one composite that'll give us the full address in a string. If any doubt you, you're um, not sure what the field name you're looking for, um, in this case phone number, and we'll go back to the account record and we'll get that in the same way that we find the relationship name by going to the back end and looking at the field. So you're on a record. You click form to go to the form editor. There's a phone field. If we go into edit that, the details tab will tell us that it's telephone one is the field we're looking for. So let's cancel out of that. And let's add telephone one. So that'll do is just now we've added the fields from a related entity and we'll just save that and then upload it into CRM. Just give it a unique name and save it as you would any other template. So let's have a look and see these fields getting pulled through now. So go back to our quote. This uh, the potential customer is Chic Department Store. Now you may have to refresh the page if your new template isn't available. 
but it is quote version 4 is available. And opening that up, you can see that your um, fields, your data from your parent entity using that relationship is pulled through to the word template. So that's it for today. As I said, I'll do another one um, showing you how to populate uh, one to many relationships and how to get these repeating. And that'll be coming up soon. Cheers. Bye.